It's the 2K Sports Pregame Show. Welcome, everybody. Excited to have you in the house with us on 2K Sports. I'm Ernie Johnson, along with Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. It is the NBA playoffs. We've been waiting a long time for yes, this. Yes, we have. Yes. Yes. Tonight, we'll be watching the Milwaukee Bucks playing against the Hawks in Atlanta. Looking at the Hawks, the second seed in the East, a confident team entering these playoffs. They're looking to make a deep run and contend for a title. And here we are, first round of the playoffs. Shaq, what do you think is the biggest difference between regular season and postseason ball? Ernie, that's the easiest question you've ever asked me in your life. More, more energy, more from your teammates, more from your fans, more from your opponents. Some players will take the bull by the horns, others will get thrown off it. So you just gotta go out and be ready, but you definitely gotta raise your level, Ernie. Have you ever taken a bull by the horns? Never. I sure have. Oh my gosh. Please, describe. Well, the bull came at me, right? Okay. And he was running. So I grabbed his horns and I did this little shoulder jammy, <clears throat> put his neck out of place, he fell. Anyway, <laughs> for yes, coaches, please. the game becomes much more chess than checkers. Mm -hmm. You really have to be a move ahead and a thought process behind. Have you ever played chess or checkers? I play them at the same time. I play my younger son checkers and my older son chess at the same time. I have done that. Have you ever taken a bull by the horns while playing checkers? Yes. Are you answering yes to every question <laughs> I ask? Yes. And he, you know when he did it, Ernie? May 23rd. <laughs> How'd That's, you know, Kenny? Yeah, he did it on May 23rd. You're because you do me. everything on May 23rd. Yeah, you're watching me. Kevin Harlan, chess master. Take it. hunkered down and anchored in on that pick. The Hawks have gone two for four from the field so far today. Here's the screen. T gets to Collins. That's good, and so T with the assist. Collins has got five. And he came off that screen, and he just didn't get over the top. Yep, weren't there in time enough to challenge Greg, and when that's the case, you can mark those up for him. Now here's Lopez. A shot by Nobody around, and they wasted no time getting those three points back. Tit for tat right there, huh, guys? Didn't take them long at all, fellas, to get those three points back. 
Cephalosia kicks to Collins. It is now to T. There's the pass to Cephalosia. Shot clock at six. Some solid defense from Antetokounmpo. Now, nice work there to contest the finish inside. You know, they got the shot they wanted, but his defense, I mean, deterred them from those plans. Hawks have gone 50% from the field, hitting three of six since the opening tip. And Young, here we go. That's a two from Cephalosha. A picture-perfect screen play, and the jump is good. Cephalosha's got his first points in this one. Hill against Young. There's a screen. Hill kicks to Middleton. Shoots. Long shot is good that time. He's got so much junk in his trunk. He'll find a way to hurt you. And first quarter, we're about three and a half minutes in. Pass to Cephalosha. Back to T. Just five on the clock. A 15-footer. No good. And Milwaukee will come the other way. Here's Hill. Looking for his first basket still in this one. Here's on to Takumbo. Good. The assist goes to Hill. Hill's got three assists in the game. And you're not going to pass up that kind of Side. Feeds the team. Pass to the monster. Inside, Cephalosha. Onto the Goombo, pulls it in. For Milwaukee, they've gone 50% from the field at this point. Four of eight. Kicks it to Middleton, and stolen by Cephalosha. And it's Teague that time on the assist from Cephalosha. Teague's got his first two points of the night. Hill against Young. And it's under the Kumbo. Penetrated. Can't hit the free throw line jump. Well, I think he got an alligator arm that one. Short stroke. After doing a nice job to get open, he didn't finish the shot. Collins passes it to the monster. And the rebound goes to Lopez. And you can see the defender's afraid to kind of get in his way a lot of times when he's on his way to the basket. But on that one, they were there. Milwaukee shooting their first three throws at this one. the second from the line. The Hawks leading. Young with the ball. Teague's got space, and he gets it to go from the corner. Teague's got his second basket of the game. Milwaukee's gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. Let's find out what Doris Burke has for us. Thanks, Kevin. I caught up with the Bucks head coach. You can put coach in the crowd that feels game one is the most important game in the series. He said to take the first game on the road would put us in the driver's seat from a mental advantage as well as a home court advantage. Guys? And thank you for that, Doris. Now here's T. Chris Middleton unable to get his last shot to go. Young with no one around. And he didn't get quite enough under that one. And it's the Bucks on the break. Outside Hill. That's good. Took advantage of some shoddy defense there. They've got to at least get a finger on him. And now 
the first timeout called here for the Hawks. in for Collins. And Milwaukee also making a switch. Kyle Korver, he's checked in for Chris Middleton. Hawks have gone 6 of 13 for the field, just under the 50% mark. And here's Young, outside Teague. Shot clock at six. On its way from Young for two. And that comes off the assist by Jeff T. Well, guys, they've shown some great passing on their last few trips down the floor. Excellent. Four straight passes leading to scores. Great team play. Now here is Hill. Lopez is a screen on Young. Hill dishes to Corver. Lopez outside. Outside Hill. Goes back up, and it's Lopez laying it in. Where's the box out? Some easy second-chance opportunities there. Those kinds of mistakes drive me crazy and will absolutely derail a team's chance to win. Now, here is Young. And T, here we go. Flanked by the D. He fights to the rim for the win. T's got six points. I like the way he's not forcing anything, taking advantage of what the defense has given him. He's been a key contributor for them in this sport. Hill has the open look, and another basket for Milwaukee. And, and that's why it's so important to really be a good screening team. You get a lot of open looks from it. And Young kicks the team. Back to Young. The kick out to T. Another three for Atlanta. Guys, his consistency in terms of shooting has really helped them seize control. Bucks trail by four. Now Hill. He's got five. They set the pick. And he feeds it to Lopez. And it's another Milwaukee shot right there going in. Not much defense to speak of yet here, guys. Nope. It's been all offense, fellas, all the time here early. Screen by Fareed. The rebound by Brooke Lopez. Lopez has got three rebounds now in this one. Yeah, they got that one. But early on, it's, it's really been a struggle for them to secure that defensive backboard. And because it's still early, I wouldn't read too much into it. There's still a lot of game left. Time call here. The Hawks decide to talk it over. And I think taking a time here to talk things over is a smart idea. One of the things you want to do is make sure everybody is clearly on the same page with the game plan. And sometimes you need a timeout to make sure that's the case. Atlanta making some changes. Okafer's checked in. And Turner's subbed in for Tavo Cephalosha. Milwaukee also making some changes. Plumlee is checked in for Lopez. Matthews comes in for Robin Lopez. Eric Bledsoe is subbed in for Hill. Now here is Augustine. He dishes it to turn. White block shot uses the glass to drop it in. Turner's got his first basket. The Bucks trail. Now here's Bledsoe. Lumley with the screen. Bledsoe passes to Matthews. And a great assist by Bledsoe as that one goes in. Matthews has got his first three points of the game. And has gone two or three from deep so far in this game. T kicks to Turner. Dishes it to Augustine. The feed to Corver. 
outside out of the combo. Got it for his fourth field goal of the game on just five shots. The Hawks trail by three. Augustine dishes to two. One twenty-seven left to play in the first quarter. Down low. Okafor gets the bucket. Here is Corver. Quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. Augustine against Bledsoe. Plumley with a screen on Augustine to the paint. Outside for Corver. Nice ball movement by Milwaukee. Matthews, no good. There's some good defense for you. I mean, for somebody who's as good at shooting the three as he is, you need a defender who's equally adept at guarding against it. That was well done. I, I like that. They obviously put the right guy on him. Bloodso against T. Bloodso outside. On the high post. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll get him two chances at the free throw line here. I'll tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. Yeah, if you're going to foul, then make sure that you don't give a chance for the end one. This is his first free throw of the game. Change here. Splitters checked in. So one for two that time at the strike. Tell you what, they haven't wasted any time getting into the swing of things on the board. And even this early, that's a good omen for the rest of the game. Shot and game clock separated by five. Here's Turner. Second chance shot, and the shot counts. He's fouled, and it's a chance for a three-point play. His hard work on the backboard really just has given them more opportunities to score. The Hawks shooting their first free throw attempt on the night. One shot. One shot. And the free throw is good. Now leading by one. Bledsoe against Augustine. Bledsoe kicks to Honda Takuma. And that's not going to go. A good close contest so far as we finish the first quarter. It's Atlanta. They're up by one. 2K Sports back in a moment here at Phillips Arena in Atlanta. And now, your Atlanta Hawks cheerleaders. And we welcome you back to our presentation of Game 1. And what do you guys think about the Hawks here in this one? A lot of times, the team that owns the paint is going to come away with the victory, and that's what they've done here thus far. Yeah, why change the plan until they make you? And that's where they should continue to attack moving forward, going inside. shooting so far very efficient all around about 55 percent and now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade all fueled up and ready to go here's the second quarter to play and Milwaukee looking at who they've got Jared Bayless is out there with Chris Middleton and it's Matthews and there's Robin Lopez and it's Lopez in at the five down low Bayless's shot is off well I think the defense got lucky right there I mean, he's going to make a lot more of those than he misses when he's got that much room 
passes it to Cephalosha. He kicks to Splitter. Down low, here's Turner, and two free throws coming up as he misses that one, drawing the whistle and a lot of contact there. And really the defense fouling there to prevent the layup, but that's exactly what you need to do. It is. I mean, no reason to back off and give him the layup. I mean, much better off making him go to the line. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for the Hawks. Okay, They've been making some really nice shots. passes out two there. Shots. Excellent passing. That could set the tone for the rest of the game. And also, it's been a positive to watch that they've attacked the paint offensively as well. It's really been about the balance that they've shown. And he can't hit the second. The Bucks trail. Middleton with it. Little turnaround, and it's in off the backboard. Middleton's got the first points up on the board here in the second quarter for Milwaukee. Young outside. The dish to Collins. The pass to Turner. Screen by Young. Collins, a screen on Matthews. Young from outside. Rebounded by the Bucks. Lopez has got four rebounds now tonight. Fires the three, and it's blocked. And that's out of bounds. Milwaukee will retain possession. Pass to Bayless. and determination on the boards. It's that kind of play down low that has helped them win a lot of games this season. And, and now, obviously, it's going to be a key for them in the playoffs. That's good for Bayless. The Monsters check in for Atlanta. to that time at the strike. The Hawks trail. On the outside. Feeds it to Collins. And he gets it to go. Collins has got seven points. That's exactly why you don't leave your feet until the shooter elevates. He went for that pump fake hook, line, and sink. Young with the steal. Here's the fast break. Sapolosha leading the way. They swipe it. And it's the Bucks on the break. Matthews leading the charge. Here is Bayless, defended by Young. Bayless's shot is off. And although not a block officially, it, it might as well have been. His ability to react and alter the shot. Greg, I don't think there was any doubt about it. His defense threw him off on that shot. Pass to Middleton. And that comes off the assist by Jared Bayless. Middleton's got the game tied up here for Milwaukee. The Hawks have gone two or three from the field here to open the second quarter. Young outside. Beyond the arc. Can't get it to go. And Milwaukee the other way now. Now Bayless. Lopez a screen. Here's Matthews from 13 feet. It goes down. Matthews has got five. Whatever their plan was defensively that time, it, it didn't work. Not if it results in that shot. And Young gets to Turner. Here's 
Chris Collins. Pass to the monster. And lots of contact there. Missing the shot. Pushing two. Ashley Matthews picks one up. And let's take a moment, guys, to get your take on the scoring so far for Milwaukee. That mid-range shot has been a weapon for them up to this point, fellas. They've been distributing the ball really well tonight, too. I mean, a decent number of assists so far for them. First one falls for him. Kenneth Fareed's checked in for Collins. And then for Milwaukee, Bellinelli, he's checked in for Matthews. And it's Hill in for Jared Bayless. That one falls, so he hits both of them. The Bucs have gone 50% from the floor in the second quarter, three of six. Middleton against Turner. In the corner, it's Bellinelli. Lopez passes to Hill. And the shot is good. Hill's got his third bucket of the night. Boy, they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing that ball into the paint. Smash mouth basketball. And Clark, it's a strategy that has served them well during the course of this first half. Now here's Turner. Just five to shoot. There's the triple. The rebound by the Bucks. Outside Hill. Lopez inside. Fareed defending. And here's the fast break. Sabalosha leading the way. Shots good by Turner. They are just killing him on the interior. Yeah, you can't say that with enough emphasis. I mean, the defenders are just not being aggressive enough down low. you got to play with some physicality in the back. And that's a foul. That's called on top of the That is his first foul of the game. That's his first first foul. Outside Hill. Kicks to Lopez. Goes up the baseline. The rebound by Trump. Yeah, good tough D there to get a hand up and force that miss. That's example number one of why he is such a strong defensive player and why he has such a great defensive reputation. Now here is Hill. He has seven. Here's Middleton. And Kenneth Reed pulls it down. Atlanta's gone 0-3 from beyond the arc to start the second quarter. Fareed, a screen on Hill. And Young, here we go. Here's Fareed. That puts them in the lead. Yeah, exceptional play there to take the bump and still get it to fall. I like to call that stick to Greg. Getting everything he possibly could out of that play. Nicely done. <laughs> Good call. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. One shot. One shot. That's good from Fareed. Bucks trail by three. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, I mean, a cold stretch offensively. They desperately need a basket. Hill, this is the Lopez. Middleton against Turner. Six on the shot clock. Shots good by Middleton. And now he's taken a solid opening in the quarter and built on it here in the second. Dishes to Cephalosha. Hawks passing it around. Passes it to the monster. The kick out to Young. And the rebound goes to Lopez. Lopez has got his third rebound on the night. He's tried to get it going, but the shots simply have not been there. Nothing seems to be falling. And boy, has he come alive. Since the start of the second quarter, he has been on fire. Time called here. The Hawks decide to talk it over. You know, obviously, you know, there's some things out there he does not like and wants to talk it over. Well, Greg, you play and you uh, envision yourself as a coach as well. 
So, you know, sometimes uh, you need to make some adjustments. Looking at who's out there now for the Hawks. Okafer's checked in, and it's Teague in for Evan Turner. And then for Milwaukee, Plumlee, he's checked in for Lopez. Honda Takumbo comes in for Robin Lopez. And it's Corver in for Chris Middleton. And it's sent back by Plumlee. There's Bellinelli. Quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. He feeds it to Hill. Takumbo against T. Ante Takumbo can't get it to go. Outside T. Picked by Okafor. And here is Cephalosha. He dishes it to Augustine. They're running, pushing it up. Fareed against Hill. Back to Anadokounmpo. That missed basket now makes him four of eight from the field. Teague with the ball. Now defended by Korver. Teague against Korver. Right side Teague. The feet of Fareed. And that comes off the assist by Jeff Teague. Teague's got three assists in the game. The box have gone. Six of 14 shooting here in the second. Hill gets to Corbin. Outside, out of the Kumbo. The dish to Bellinelli. There's the pass to Corbin. Plumley sets the pit for Hill. He kicks to Plumley. Pass to Bellinelli. The Bucks need to get a shot off here. And the basket by Hill. Marky talked about a back-and-forth game. This is the definition of yeah, that. Yeah, no doubt about it, Kevin. I mean, not even through the first half, and it's been one heck of a battle. You have to love these kinds of games, scoring-wise, keeping everybody on their toes. He can't get it to go. So Milwaukee will take it the other way. Outside, out of the Kumbo, feeds it to Plumlee with his first shot attempt. Rebound, Atlanta. Now here is Augustine. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for him. Fareed outside. Pass to Zephalosha. From deep. And that one's good. Zephalosha's got seven points in the game. Boy, after having a tough time in the first, he's managed to turn it around nicely this quarter. And Milwaukee calls their first time out of the game. And now Doris Burke has an update from the sidelines. Kevin, I got a chance to hear what head coach of the Bucks said to his team. He's looking for some old-fashioned offense right now. He wants the pick and roll to be the centerpiece of their game plan at that end of the floor. The other thing he stressed was the need to be disciplined on offense. He asked for good ball movement and good shot selection. They're not going to wait for halftime. They want those adjustments to have an impact right away. Over to you, Kevin. And thanks for that story, Doris. I think the Kubo can't get it to go. Well, one of his issues is he's a player that just does not excel fighting through contact on his way to the rim. And that one's good. Nice work on the inside. Hard to get that one up and over the big fella. Well, it's not supposed to be easy down there. And a little artistry on the inside helped him make it happen. Now here's Butzo. Humbly with the screen. And Butzo, here we go. Good. You know, the defense has got to do a much better job of fighting over those screens. And Greg, especially when the ball is in his hand. I mean, come on now. You know he doesn't miss too many open looks like that. Here's Augustine. Splitter kicks to Fareed. Dishes to Augustine. To the wing right side. But Trey. Here's Okafor. And he battles for the ball and gets the second chance bucket. Okafor's got his second basket. 
And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Well, I agree with you. Four of their last five baskets have been exactly of that variety. Boy, they're trailing in this game, and they're starting to settle for jumpers offensively. Yeah, it could work, but I wouldn't take that approach, Clark. They should be fighting their way inside for better looks. And the wide-open shot from Bledsoe. That doesn't go either for Bledsoe. Atlanta leading by three. Augustine with it. Outside T. It's all about it's a Kumbo. And now in transition is Bledsoe. Here we go. That is good. Great anticipation and awareness to come up with the steal and trigger the fast break. And now just a one possession game thanks to that quick hitter. Outstanding play in the open court. Now here's Splitter. Some solid defense from Andre Kumbo. If they could end every possession with that shot, they'd be happy. Nine times out of ten, that's an easy layup. He's now made half of those ten shots in the game. That's his fifth basket. And that's what he does. I mean, he is a bucket getter. And Augustine kicks the team. 26 seconds left in the first half of basketball. Corver with the defensive effort. He's been anything but his usual self this quarter. It's actually been ugly to see. And it's out of the combo. Penetrated. Takes the assist and lays it in. Picked out the pass nicely. Man, can you always depend on him or what to lead you to the right place with that pass? Money. Now Augustine. On deep. Got it off in time, but it's no good. And so it's a close game as we wrap up the first half of basketball. Huxley by three. And now let's catch up with Doris Burke, who's standing by on the sideline. Of course. Kevin, we have Brooke Lopez with us. What's the attitude you have as a team right now? Oh, it's so exciting. You know, it's really thrilling to come out with such a great group of guys every night, you know, and uh, play basketball. You know, it's just it's a lot of fun. Brooke, thank you very much. Kevin, over to you. All right, Doris, thank you. And we'll be back after halftime for the start of the third quarter. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. It is such a pleasure here in the postseason to bring you the halftime show on 2K Sports. Alongside Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith, this is Ernie Johnson. Well, for the Bucks, they hung tough in what was a closely contested first half. If what we've seen in game one so far is any indication, we're going to have quite a series on our hands. Kenny, your thoughts on the Bucks' first half? Well, they didn't let this hostile crowd bother them at all. In fact, they seem to feed off of that hostility. Plus, sometimes when you're away from home, those distractions, your family, your friends, your fans, you can concentrate better. Okay, wait, did I just say my family, friends, and fans are distractions? <laughs> okay, uh, let's go to the next thing. Let's go. And Shaq, what'd you see from Atlanta? I like the way they rebounded. They devoted a lot of energy down low, fighting for each other on the board, and they helped keep this game tight. If they can continue to do that, it could easily be the factor that swings the game in their favor. Just about time for the third quarter to get underway, and we'll see you again at the Horn. here in this round one matchup. Well, under the Kumbo in this one, he's got 13 points, and he was able to come up with one steal, too. You know what? He's been a difference maker defensively today, Clark. He's disrupted more plays than the stat sheet will show. 